We're going to explain how to import SF2 sound fonts into FL Studio Mobile. 1. First, you need to obtain an SF2 sound font file. These are widely available online. You can find many free ones, but be sure to check the license to make sure you're allowed to use them. 2. Once you've downloaded your SF2 file, you'll need to transfer it to your mobile device. The easiest way to do this is usually through a file manager app on your computer. Connect your mobile device to your computer via USB, locate the downloaded SF2 file on your computer, and copy it to an easily accessible folder on your mobile device, perhaps a new folder specifically for your sound fonts. 3. Now open FL Studio Mobile. 4. FL Studio Mobile doesn't directly support SF2 files. You need a sampler instrument that can load SF2S. Fortunately, Florida Studio Mobile includes a built-in sampler called Sampler. However, its capabilities for handling SF2 files might be limited. You may experience issues with some SF2 files depending on size or complexity. 5. Create a new project in FL Studio Mobile or open an existing one. 6. Add a new sampler channel by tapping the plus button at the bottom of the channel rack and then choosing Sampler. 7. Now we need to load the SF2 file into the sampler. This step varies slightly depending on your FL Studio mobile version, but generally involves tapping on the sampler settings or a similar option, then looking for a setting to load a sample or instrument. Some interfaces have an import sample or load sample button. 8. Locate the folder where you saved your SF2 file and select it. FL Studio Mobile's file browser should appear. You need to navigate to the folder containing your transferred SF2. 9. Once selected, the SF2 sound font should load into the sampler. It might take a few seconds, especially if the SF2 file is large. 10. Now you can play the sound font via your MIDI controller or by using FL Studio Mobile's piano roll. Experiment with different notes and MIDI velocities to see the different sounds within the sound font. 11. Remember that the quality and performance of the SF2 will depend on the power of your mobile device. Large and complex SF2S might strain older or lower powered devices and cause audio glitches or lag. 12. If you encounter problems loading the SF2, try using a different SF2 file, ensuring it's not corrupt, or checking for updates to FL Studio Mobile. Also, closing unnecessary apps on your phone can free up resources to improve performance. If the problem persists, you might want to explore alternative sampler apps in the App Store which may handle SF2 files more reliably.